here's the value. So that was not a, that was not a very good representation of this deck. In this deck, you want to probably keep on keep your vengeances, I would say, and look for undyings maybe. Gluttony is part of the combo. That's fine. Put in Neverglade. No. All right. I guess it's fine. We want to put pressure on him. I'll pass and not let him ramp. Um, he's thinking I might do two damage and he can heal the two damage off by ramping, so I'm just gonna pass there. It's the proper pass. Okay. Sure. It does our visitors. This um ethereal remitter is a pretty strong play next turn. This is really strong too, because it makes it a 3-3, right? So it only takes two damage. Actually, I don't even know if it takes damage or not. It doesn't take damage, okay, let's continue. Um, I can't Vengeance this turn, so I'm going to play Remitter here and just swing. I might get a really good uh, 5 drop. Oh my god! Wow, what a, what, a, what a crap 5 drop, dude. That's okay. That's literally, is that the worst one? Is there a worse 5 drop? Is there a worse 5 drop? I'm, I'm curious. 2 HP 5 drop. Nope, probably not. I gotta, I gotta stop uh, Trundle here. He didn't have him last turn. That's a pretty good one. I can dig that. Papercraft. Nice dragon, yeah. There's a lot of good five drops you can get as well. Now we're talking? Absolutely. Pretty easy open attack here. Now Undying's a 5-5. Five, five. Now there's a very interesting play we can do. Nah, there's not. Not really. Can you help? That needs to die, and it needs to die yesterday, so we need this dead. The reason we need this dead is because he can level him next turn. We, we never want to let him level Trundle. We have open attack lethal, so now he um, he kind of wants to ruin it next turn, which is kind of bad for him. Okay. Play, uh, where is it? Got Matron, nice. I wish I had an answer for Gluttony. Mm hmm. Okay. Um... Let's do this. Oh, wait, I should have waited. My bad. Not that it really matters, but yeah, I should have waited there. That was a misplay. Oh, he has Challenger on this. That's a bit of an oops. I, I, messed, I messed this up. I absolutely messed this up. Um, I gotta I got play Spectral Matron here. Uh, my, the one thing it beats me is Ruination, so I'm going to play the Ephemeral copy of it. The Ephemeral copy is better. It gives him less value for Ruination. If he has Ruination, so be it. And if he Ruinates, his Trundle next turn doesn't really do much. I can even do Vile Feast plus Scorch plus... Alright, we swing for the fences here. He needs to freeze two units, basically. I wonder if Atrocity fits in this deck. It probably does. 
trust he's probably pretty good in this deck. He needs a lot of freezes. It's fine. Not the end of the world. 6, 9, 10, 11 mana for an extra I need. You even have a <laughs> discounted Whispered Word, which is pretty spicy. So what does he develop here? 12 cost card, right? Is that just game winning? Um, Is it game winning is the question. I can kill them both. Well, I can't kill Trindamir, unfortunately. I got to think about this. What the right way to play this is. Hmm. Double Vengeance. Trindamir still survives, though. The problem, that's the problem with Double Vengeance. Trindamir still survives. So, the play here is the Vile Feast one time. I can take his hit, yes, but the problem is the second guy I can't, I can't Scorched Earth because I have no way to injure him. So we play this play here first. We want to kill the first Trindomir with Scorched Earth, the second one with Vengeance when he does Atrocity. I'm playing around Atrocity, basically. Because I have no way to, to injure the second Trindomir. So the play is this and this, basically. I'm down to seven. Scorch after hit. After hit? That's a good point. That's a very good point. We can't kill Trindamir, you papayas! What do you mean, why not? He has two lives, that's why. Wait, you want me to do Vengeance plus Scorch this turn? And just leave Trundle alive? I don't have the mana for that. Oh my god, dude. Oh, you, you mean to, f to keep full HP? I see what you're saying. That actually does work. That does work pretty well. That works pretty decently. Uh, you, you're right, you're right. That would have worked. Correct. I see what you're saying. But do I want to keep Trundle alive? I don't know if I want to keep Trundle alive. Because then he can level Trundle next turn guaranteed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's right or not. I think I play Spectral Matron here. And I'll have Absorb Soul to stop Atrocity. Because I'm going to be going... Absorb Soul puts me to 12, right? 7, he'd have 4 mana left. How does he prevent that? He has no way to buff himself with 4 mana. Alright, we're good. I think we're good here. Yeah, that's the play. That's most certainly the play. Atrocity doesn't kill us, and he has no way to prevent us, right? right we swing for the fences here. Atrocity coming in. Mm -hmm. We probably use this on this guy, because he has the most HP, and I think we're good. Easy! Such a good player, chat. Ugh. Perfect play. Cross isn't lethal, but was too close for comfort. Yeah, perfect play. Perfect play. Killing Trundle was better. I like killing Trundle because Trundle's a really good blocker and he's a... I don't know. I kind of like it. Um, What is this? Misfortune Katarina. That's a really bad matchup. That's a really bad matchup. Do I keep Gluttony? Probably not. I, I think we're done versus this matchup. We need to find some really... Like, we need to find the 2-drop. I need the 2-drop ASAP so I can play 2-drop into Butcher for double blocker early. Oh, no. Oh, no! I found nothing! Oh, my God. I found nothing yet. Okay, that's not bad. Never play 
Actually, that's a tempo loss for him. That is a tempo loss. I can turn this into a 4 4, actually. That's a pretty big loss of tempo. If I pass here, if he doesn't want to play Blades, that would be my guess. Blades just to face, because I didn't want him to do it to the Butcher. Alright, we're good. We've got a good hand here. And now we're going to play this on the Undying. He doesn't die to almost anything, so we're fine with that. Let's pop it. That's a 4... That's a 7-7 seven, seven blocker. I prefer this. He doesn't have a great strong play here to really prevent this. The Croc, yep. It's a good tempo card. That can block like 2-3 to three units. Does he play Katarina here? What does she even do? I can keep her on board with a glimpse if I wanted to. Culling? Oh, he could have culling me. That's a good point. He could have culling. But I, 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 accept, I expect this to be an aggro deck if he's playing Misfortune with Katarina. Really? Is he afraid of me killing him by going too fast to face? Wow, that's a good trade. I'm a big fan of that. Now, he might have Katarina into pull. That would suck. Um, I'll have to glimpse it, not to give him the value, basically. Maybe I should have used Whispered Words. I don't know. Maybe Whispered Words was good there. I'm not sure. Vengeance on Katarina is pretty nice. So he doesn't want to play... He, he has Quick Attack Katarina Challenger onto this. It, that's very strong to play. I'll wait for him to commit the attack. Good attack commit. I'm very happy with that. We can Vengeance this down. Now he doesn't have a secondary rally, right? Like, he could have played more units, and then we Glimpse that, I think. That's fine. I could save Glimpse for this, but I, I think this is usually a bit better. Maybe it wasn't that good. Why am I really stopping that? Do I have a reason to stop that play by him? No, I should have just Glimpsed the Undying. It's a nice card. Let's do this. Do I do that? I probably push damage, yeah. I'm setting up attack on lethal next turn, so... I definitely go face here. Pop this down. He can get a double attack off of this, but unfortunately for him... Now this dies. Oh, that's bad for him, dude. It's really bad for him. I'm even going to let him think he has a good good play. He's going to open attack with this, and he's going to play Katarina attack, and I have a Scorched Earth, which is great. I'm a fan. I, I, I like this. I think we win here. We want him to commit a lot onto this battering ram, basically. Meme deck versus meme deck. Well, this deck is doing good so far. Like, it's, it's doing decently. It's not doing bad. I just chump luck. Do I chump luck with this or not? I don't know. Tough, tough question to answer. Hey, my name is Zoe. You could have whirling. True. I like the chump luck for three one. Alright, that should be GG. He doesn't get enough value there. In my opinion, pass. He'll Blades Edge this. I'll play Absorb Soul in it just to heal. Three. He's pushing seven damage. We're down to 13. And then we just win with this. Thank you, Kinnich! With the five gifters, my dude! Appreciate you, brother. You were five gifted subs. Absolutely insanato. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you for the support. I truly do appreciate you. I truly do. He needs another spider to stun this. But even if he does, I have... He's, I'm one-off lethal. Oh, no, I'm one-off lethal, dude. Why am I, I one-off lethal, bro? 
Why am I one off lethal? Not fair. It's just, I mean, I, I these cost two now, which is kind of nice. It hurts. It's so painful. It is painful. Like, you're getting this much value off of it. Because you glimpsed the butcher. Well, the butcher was dying anyway. Didn't make a difference. You missed the kill on your undying. True. True. Yeah, that's that's exactly where it was. Well said. It hurts, chat. It's so painful. Van Ganse is nice. Dangerous water. <laughs> nice. What are you gonna do? Attack with those two? Push me down to 10 HP. You have no good attack here. Remitter is amazing. You could be I don't think he has some kind of weird thing where I need to save Vengeance. That's a decent card. It blocks a lot of stuff. If he stuns a unit, I play Ravenous Butcher on the stun unit. Alright, we're good. We're good. Pass. Lurk. Wait, what's Lurk? Heal for more. Good heal. Happy with that. Is the type of player that's... Wait, what? You didn't finish your sentence. Yo, no, seriously, Kinash. Thank you for five gifters, man. Five subs gifted to me. You are far too kind, my dude. Thank you so much for the support, dude. Thank you, really. Thank you very, very much. Right, we're down to eight. We shouldn't die to eight. Um, double decimate doesn't kill us because it's too slow. It's way too slow to play double decimate, so absolutely fine here. Ba bing, ba boom, cha ching. <laughs> There's the value. Look at this thick boy. No stopping us. Swing for the fences, brother. Twenty-eight damage. That's what I like to see. Did you? Ah, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yo, this deck is fun. This is a fun deck. Add Atrocity? Maybe. When the deck loses, I'll add it. I can play Noxion Fervor, for example. I think that's a decent card, because it does 3 damage and also kills one of my units, which I like. Captain Farron? Oh, I forgot about the Farron. Oh my god, dude. I'm so bad at this game. Ah! I forgot. I forgot the entire point of this combo, chat. Can you believe it? Can you believe I forgot the entire point of our combo? That's insane. The only reason I put him in was for Captain Farron. You can believe it? I know you can. Yeah, I get Matron. Oh yeah, but I can't play Farron if I'm playing Matron. That's the problem, guys. If I play Matron, I can't play Farron. Uh, so how do I do that? Wait, how do we do that then? Am I cutting Matron out? Really? Then I can't play Attack on. It's kind of scuffed, isn't it? Cut Matron and attack on? Okay, I'm down for that. I'm actually down for that. Then we cut Ladris as well, entirely. That's not horrible. I can do that. It's an earlier combo. Okay, I gotta say, this is so unlucky. I will not be defeated. Rub his butcher! We lost. It's over. We lost the game. It's absolutely over, chat. We found no blockers by mana four. How? Don't ask me. Don't ask me how. You better give me Mr. Alligatore top deck right, right now. I demand an alligator right now. I could save this this turn, but I think the real play here is Ethereal Remitter into a 5-drop. No, we, we almost certainly attack here. 
he'll block, will push three damage. And the reason I'm doing that is because now he feels safe to play Vagar. And if he plays Vagar and I kill Vagar, he might revive the three two. Okay. Never mind, he didn't do it. We're fine. It's okay. Give me a blocker. Wow. That's a spicy boy. That right there is a spicy boy. I like him. I'm a fan. That's pretty solid. Now, Senna's a bigger problem than Vagare, if we're going to be honest. She's just a bigger issue. Sion's going to get level up really fast. We're, we're fine with this. We can even level Sion. If we can kill off this... Work the fabric, minions. Work it. What am I supposed to do here? I'm not sure. I think we just pass. Block one of those, right? And that's it, right? This is it. That's that, that's all we do. One, two, three, four, five. It's twenty-five out of thirty. Pass. We've got a good open attack. He wants to kill this. I know that for a fact. Spicy meatballs, absolutely. Too strong of an open attack not to do. Quite happy with that. Good damage to face. Vengeance, your curse keeper. Great idea. Genuinely a genius idea. Um, I'll let that go through. Two out of four. Pop this down. That does nothing. His hand is so bad. Holy crap. He's got such a bad hand. Minimorph's a problem. That's that's really our only problem at the moment. I can't wait to see the Vagar drop. Just, I'm just waiting for it, dude. <laughs> come on, drop your Vagar, man. Just come on. Come on! What's he doing? I'm so confused. I'm so confused what he's doing. Where's his Vagar? Where is his Vagar? I'm trying to understand what's happening. What's he? Wait, he's going to ruination me? Oh, please do. Please, please ruination me. Pass. Just do it, brother. Just do it. Do it! I want to see... I don't get it. He's sniping me? He knows you got crumble? How can he possibly know I have crumble? I'm getting snooped again? Really? Do I reckon... Giant Mango. I've seen this name before. I don't, I don't know how many times I've seen it, but I've seen it before. Minimorph does nothing. My board is too wide at this point for Minimorph to really bother me. For the fences. And we still have Crumble, so that's pretty good. Seven damage, minus two, minus two, minus two. That can stop me. But this is still reviving, which is a problem for him. Alright, that's GG, right? Sweet. Easy win! I'm so good at this game! Wait, no. No! no I'm fine. <laughs> Come on, quit, man. You know what I'm gonna do, brother. Just get out of here before it's too late. Leave! Leave, Mango Gigante! He quit the stream. <laughs> I don't think he saw this play. I think I think out of all the plays he saw, that was not one of them. All right, that felt good. We're gonna we're gonna modify the deck. No more attack on. We're gonna go for um. This is a, this is a new deck. This is a different deck. Hola, grappler, cómo estás? Yo muy bien. This is just a wrinkled yes, and it's sort of highlighted from the from the. Sh <laughs>